everyone. I've been asked to do a day in the life of an ecologist and this is it. This is this is what my life is. I am surveying a woodland um, down near Ghoul, um, wondering about, trying to see if there's any signs of any protected species. So mostly I'm looking for badgers. There's some ponds nearby, so I'm looking for uh, evidence and habitat suitability for great crested newts. Uh, breeding birds. I actually got into ecology um, back in A-levels. Actually, I did an A-level in environmental studies, which then led to a BSc in environmental management at Northumbria. And following from that, when I couldn't get a job, I went straight into an ecological consultancy master's at Newcastle University. And since then, uh, I think I had about six months where I didn't have a job and next survey season straight into my first job. I work for quite a small company. Uh, we're based in Thirsk in North Yorkshire and most of our work is actually within Yorkshire itself which is actually really nice. I get to go home every night but during the summer I'm doing I do three bat surveys a week which start we've got to be on site about half an hour before sunset and we stay for about an hour and a half to two hours after so yeah, it can be quite tiring at this time of year, but I get to go to some nice places. I generally do two site visits a week doing the daytime scoping work, like what I'm doing right now. Um, most of the time is in the office, so I spend a lot of time writing up reports, writing up results, analysing bat calls from the previous night's bat surveys, um, organising projects and managing timelines with clients and expectations and things like that, uh, making sure everyone's on the same page with ecology. Some surveys we do are quite quiet on the night, um, the bat surveys. Some are really busy and we get really quite a lot of bats out. Um, I will add some footage because we use infrared cameras and thermal cameras to uh, help aid our vision because it gets quite dark. Um, and some bats don't really echolocate very much. Um, so it helps us actually identify where the bat species are all coming from. After crawling through on my hands and knees through the woodland, um, I have actually found a badger set now. Um, it's only got a couple of holes, but there is a fairly fresh latrine next to it. So that is a confirmed set. This evening I am on a site in Ripon somewhere, um, looking at some traditional farm buildings. Um, we did find some bat droppings in one or two of them, um, but our last survey didn't actually find any bats coming out, so we're doing another one to confirm whether there's anything here or not. When it's a big site, it can be quite difficult to identify accurately where they come from. Um, so it can be quite important to use extra kit like this. the inside of the building. Just having a little look around to see if there's any bats inside. So I can't see any bats there, but there is a little pile of droppings. I'm not sure if this will pick up or not.
Hi, so this morning I am back to work, it's half nine, um, but I'm doing a webinar at 10 o'clock um, in biodiversity net gain, which is a government target for all new developments um, going forward and I'm about to release the new metric calculator that we'll have to use. So hopefully I'll pick up some good tips off the webinar on how to use this. I could probably chat for quite a long time about various different parts of my job, never mind all of the different careers that are available in in ecology, there's, there's, they can do all sorts. Um, but if anyone ha has any questions, I'm quite happy to answer them. Anytime, just send me a message.